Hello there guys, it's Cold Fox over here, and today I'm bringing you a review of the DEC 108 Hashim Pro keyboard. Now let's take a look at the underside of the box, and you can see that it has multimedia shortcuts, software-free macros, and key rollover, it also has LEDs, Cherry and Mac switches, dual layer PCB, and a lockable Windows key. Now, opening the box, you are first greeted with the manual, as you can see right here, which uh, we will put to the side for now and look at it later. And then you are greeted with the keyboard. Now under the keyboard there is also the keycap puller which is pretty useful for taking off the keys and cleaning the keyboard from the inside. Now taking a look at the manual as you can see right here, um, it's actually pretty important as it has how to program the keys and uh, also some other stuff which are also important. Now this is the keycap puller and it's actually very nice made out of metal. Now taking a look at the keyboard itself, you can see that the USB is actually braided and it's pretty thick as well, which is very nice to see. And uh, yeah, the keyboard overall is pretty plain with a font that uh, some people will like and others won't, but uh, it's just personal preference. In my opinion, I think it's pretty nice. Now taking a look at the underside, you can see that uh, there are also cable routes which you can use which are very nicely added and there are also notches so you can put the cable through. It also has stands uh, over here as you can see but they are pretty wiggly in my opinion as they are not stiff enough. Now there are also some rubber paddings all around the keyboard which is very nicely added and also on the stands themselves. If you actually look at it pretty closely you can see that the keyboard has some weak points which is uh, not that good as this is a pretty pricey keyboard costing you about $150. Now let's take a look at the lighting functions and uh, yeah there are about 5 levels of lighting as you can see right here and there are a lot of different options. So this is the fade option right here and it's uh, in my opinion my personal favorite. Now this is the laser side track LED backlight, which is also pretty nice. Now this is the ripple explosion. So in my opinion it's also pretty flashy. And then you have breathing, which is the last function. And then obviously the keyboard on with all the backlights on. So now taking a look at the keycap puller in action. Here you can see that taking off the key is pretty easy but it leaves a lot of marks on the key. Now some keys also have some stabilizers right there and uh, yeah it's pretty easy to put in the key back again. The switches are blue which is which means that they are the Cherry MX blue switches which were the ones that I ordered. And uh, yeah, taking off the keys is very easy, but you are slightly damaging them.
as you can see right here. Now putting back the keys is very easy. And uh, yeah, that's very nice to see. Now this is the typing test. Let's take a look at the functioning of the individual keys and uh, to do that you have to press FN and PN, choose the key that you want, for example A, and write the combination that you want. Then press PN, FN and PN together. And there is the key program. As you can see right here you can also toggle between them. So thank you guys for watching this video, if you liked it be sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe for more weekly videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.